Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be talking about Dying Light Bad Blood. We will be talking about what exactly is going on with Dying Light Bad Blood. Now, I love Dying Light Bad Blood because human PvP is something I have been asking since 2016. And since the launch of the game, I have been playing the game and have made a lot of videos and have done a lot of streams. But I stopped making videos on it after a time. I'll tell you the reason in the video, but first let's talk about the current state of the game. So it's been almost 6 months and we haven't heard Techland talk or share anything related to Dying Light Bad Blood. Well, we can guess that it may be because of Dying Light 2, the team is probably busy with it. But from what I know, there is a small part of team that is working on Bad Blood and the rest are focused on Dying Light 2. So that could not be the reason. So in order to understand what went wrong and what's going on, we need to see the history of the game. So let's start from the beginning. So Dying Light Bad Blood test beta first began in August 25th. The game was only available for limited people. It was an invite only playtest session, even I received an invite by the way. So the limited playtest session actually went good. And everyone who played Bad Blood that day actually enjoyed it including me. Also the max players that were playing the game that day were actually 200 which was fine for a private test session. Also there were two test sessions which were held by Techland that actually went really really great and after that we all were waiting for the launch date. The day when the game releases on early access for Steam users. The early access for Steam users arrived on September 13th 2018. The early access was only for Steam users and the console users had to wait for a while. The devs wanted to test the game while it's on early access on Steam and by the time when the final version comes out, it will be free to play on all platforms. That includes Steam, PlayStation 4 and Xbox. Well that was going to happen later but during the launch the game was out for $20. It was Founders Pack which gave people some exclusive stuff since they supported the game during its early access period. Now the launch of Dying Lab Bad Blood went really successful and there were over 452 people playing the game that day. Which was not bad, but it was pretty cool for a new game. The only problem a lot of people had during the launch of the game was that the game actually came out with nothing new than what we actually got in closed beta. So if you had played the beta, you might have realized that the launch version and the beta version both were same. But then again, I was loving the game, so I never focused on it. And soon after the launch of the game, we all started playing the game. So day two arrived and the number of plays actually dropped from 452 to 124. Now that was a 72% drop in the number of players playing the game. Now you might be like, well, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Well, it just started and the worst is still to come. Today, the average players playing this game is only four. And the max it went this month is 16. Which simply means that the game died in the early access state. It's really unfortunate and sad to see something happening like this to a game that I really love. Now why exactly did that happen? First of all, everyone who played the game complained about one thing. Lack of content. It's been one year and since the launch of the game, not much has been added to the game. The game launched with Slums map which looked a bit different from the base Dying Light Slums map but still is quite same. Also they added new weapon skins, a new outfit, a new mechanism of fighting. And that's it. And talking about the zombies, the only zombie we have seen in Bad Blood is just the reskin and the introduction of hazmats or let's say bolters in the game. Nothing new actually. So lack of content seemed to be one of the reasons why people would not play this game on a daily basis. Second reason was the fighting mechanics. Balancing and the other problem with the matchmaking, that all really affected the game. So the game had a lot of problem with the matchmaking. Even with enough players to start a lobby, the servers used to crash. The game used to disconnect you and looking at that, Techland actually rolled out an update which allowed you to start a match with only just 4 players. So the required number of players in the lobby was 8, 12 was mentioned in the website but for some reason it was 8 in the game and then that was reduced to 4. So you might be like well it's reduced to 4 now it's gonna be more easy to find a lobby right? Well even after that people struggled to find a lobby and the main reason for that was because the number of people playing the game 
was actually lower than 10 of 5. The devs even added a duo mode in the game, which was a good update. And the number of players playing the game that day was 113, which again was not that bad considering we saw so much fall lately. So 113 wasn't really bad. I seriously enjoyed the duel mode, but the problem was that finding a match was really difficult. The time I waited to find a lobby ranged from 10 minutes to 30 minutes, and even developers saw that happening. So it's quite obvious that people won't wait for that long. And if people stop playing it, then the number of players playing the game will definitely drop. And because of that drop, the situation gets even worse. Now to tackle this issue, the developers came up with an early access development plan. Kind of like a roadmap with no dates. The devs announced this development plan and they literally added everything, almost everything from this development map, except two things. And to be honest with you, that two things was the most requested things since the launch of the game. The two items were a new map and a new playable character. A female character actually. So a female character was something everyone requested in Dying Light, but that never happened. So seeing that happening in Bad Blood was amazing and everyone was excited. But like I said, it never happened. Now it's been almost one year and the game still has no new map or new playable characters. It was never added in the game. This leaves us with nothing new added in the game for months. So people started losing interest in the game and here we are today with no new content or info for almost 6 months. The player number right now is only 4 and the max it reached this month was just 16. Can you believe that? 16 was the max number of players that actually played Bad Blood this month and the 4 is the average. Also, since the number of players playing this game has been decreased so much, only few people play this game. And this thing actually builds a problem for the new people. Basically noobs. People who just started playing the game rarely used to find a lobby and whenever they do, they go against someone who has been playing this game for a really long time. So it used to not end up good for him. And now you understand that the game is actually surrounded by a lot of problems. There are really some cool things the developers have added in the game, like in-game events, which in my opinion was something people loved a lot. But that also stopped after a while. So in my opinion, if the developers wanted to bring Dying Light Bad Blood from Dead, they will have to bring more content to this game. Also make it available on consoles too, because it's been too long. The game needs more players, so it has to come out for free and it has to come out before Dying Light 2 comes out. Because once Dying Light 2 is released, no one will be interested in Dying Light Bad Blood. People will be focused on Dying Light 2. So if the devs release a new map and make it free to play for all platforms, Steam, Xbox and PlayStation 4, then there is a chance to bring back this game from dead. Also fixing the hitbox issue that a lot of people complained about in the reviews would be great. It's something I have noticed myself. The game in my opinion is fun and could improve a lot of things but fails because of lack of content. Right now Dying Light Bad Blood review on Steam is mixed and everyone only complains about content, matchmaking issue and combat. From my side I have tried contacting the Bad Blood developers but they haven't responded and I feel like that's because they have been inactive on social media platforms. Only the Dying Light 2 developers seem to be active right now. I have previously talked with the developers of Dying Light Bad Blood. And I've seen that they're really excited for this game and are working hard to improve it. But I don't understand the reason why it's been almost 6 months and we haven't heard anything about the game. I don't understand. So I'm sure we'll definitely get a response from the developers really soon or we'll get a news about something being added in the game. And uh, I have listed all the problems and solutions to this issue. Now I want to know from you guys what would be better for this game. What can the developers add or improve something to bring back Dying Light Bad Blood back to life? Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.